Hi, everyone. My name is Dan Nurlov, and I have the internet weather uh, for you today. So uh, one of the things that we do is we study uh, scanning activity on the internet just to gauge uh, what's happening and what different adversaries are interested in. So this is our top 10 most probed ports report. Um, it shows the ports that are being scanned the most by volume. And this week, uh, this port appeared. It's not really a port. It's an entire protocol uh, called GRE. Um, it's an encapsulation protocol usually used for VPN. And you can see that it jumped 81 positions uh, to be number one uh, in scanning activity by volume this week. Um, so I want to show you what that looks like um, in the next few slides. Um, and moving on, we also look at the top 10 most sources probing by port, um, or I guess top 10 most probe ports by source or number of IP addresses doing it concurrently. And the reason we do this is we try to look for coordinated scanning activity. Sometimes it's a sign of a botnet, um, uh, and this is usually how we can see that, you know, there's some kind of uh, maybe major exploit or worm out there or some kind of wormable activity. Uh, so again, a GRE here shows up uh, near the top and actually has jumped up uh, by source uh, over 155 positions uh, to be uh, number nine uh, this week. So what does this activity look like in the past 30 days? Um, if we look at it, we can see that the scan activity on GRE, uh, you could see prior to uh, sometime September 10th, uh, was mostly non-existent. Uh, you know, there was maybe a few thousand scan flows per hour, uh, but starting on uh, the 10th, September 10th, uh, there's like 550 million uh, scan flows per hour detected. Um, the activity is trending downwards right now, uh, but still a significant number of probes um, identified and discovered uh, on this protocol. Looking at it by scan sources, the number of IP addresses engaged in this, um, you can see uh, the curve is very similar, and whereas before there might have been something like 50 or so devices participating in this activity, currently it looks like there's you know, thousands of devices per hour concurrently engaged in this activity. Um, we have a way to track who the scanners are, and just looking at the last few uh, hours um, and some of the really top, top scan sources on this protocol, decided to map geographically where they're located. And while the activity is kind of worldwide, there's um, activity in the United States, Mexico, Europe, um, you could also see a heavy presence in Asia, and particularly um, there was a lot of uh, scan sources in Japan and um, I believe South Korea. Um, so we'll be on the lookout uh, for the scanning activity on GRE, uh, trying to understand it more and understand what's happening, um, understand maybe the root cause for it. Uh, we don't have any answers today, uh, but it's just an interesting observation uh, here uh, in the past week. And with that, uh, that's all there is uh, for the Internet Weather Update this week. Um, if anyone has any ideas about what this activity is or any comments or feedback or protocols uh, or ports that they would be interested in learning more about, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, you can use the comments below uh, or reach out to us um, using our distribution list.